Hey, it's Kevin Tofu with GigaOM. You know, a lot of people have talked about the lag that Android devices have. What I mean by that is the, the touch screen. When you touch it and move your finger, the elements on the display lag behind your finger, so they're always kind of catching up. A lot of people talk about it, but not everybody has seen it, so I wanted to show you that on video. And in particular, I want to show it to you on the Galaxy Nexus, which is Google's flagship phone for Android 4.0. Now, this issue doesn't really bother me because I've been using Android daily for the past two years. I'm kind of used to it, but I do understand what people are talking about when, when they do discuss the lag that Android has. Um, however, there are some possible solutions in the future. We'll talk about one of those uh, briefly. I don't have it to show it to you, but at least I can show you the lag and discuss a little bit about what maybe will fix this problem in the future. So here's my Galaxy Nexus, and just on the home screen, I'll go back and forth a little bit. You can see a little bit of lag there, but then if I start moving faster, it's kind of out of sync. The elements are out of sync with my finger. But see, there's actually an easier way to show this to you, so let me do this real quick. I'm going to go in the settings, and as you can see, this is a developer phone. So I'm going to go into the developer options, and there's a button in here that lets me show the, uh, where is it? Show touches. Okay. Now when I touch the screen, you'll actually see this little dot. And I'm going to go over here where I have two blank screens set up for the demo. And you can see the dot following my hand, not actually on my hand, right? If I go slow, it appears as though it's in sync. But as I speed up, it gets behind until it just, and it just never catches up. So there's a visual understanding of how that looks, that lag. Now, I can't do that on any of my other phones but I can show you that on the iPhone 4S, just here, actually, let me go back to this for a second, go back to the home screen. I'm gonna go back and forth here a little bit. You see that lag? Let's go over to the iPhone 4S, which has one of the better touchscreen implementations. And it's, a little, I mean, just barely there's a lag there. Uh, my finger beats the elements to the point when I stop, but other than that, it's actually much better. And then even the Windows Phone that I'm taking a look at, Windows Phone 7, this is a Nokia device, the Lumia 710. Again, I can't enable the touch point, and I can't go left and right because of the way the Metro UI works, but it's fine when you're going slow. A little bit of lag. And then as you speed up, if you want to start zipping through something, like a web page or so on, you can see how it gets a little bit behind. Not quite as bad as Android, in my opinion. And the fact is, this is built with hardware components that were probably cutting edge in mid-2010. So even with brand new hardware, this is still lagging. It's, it's an inherent Android issue. So now what might fix that? NVIDIA showed me at CES something called Direct Touch, where they actually remove or replace the controller between the CPU and the touchscreen, and the CPU actually handles the touch input. I can't obviously demonstrate it, but what should happen is it should be a faster uh, uh, reading of the touchscreen, uh, I think they said up to three times faster, which could eliminate some of the lag here. We'll have to wait and see because the NVIDIA devices with direct touch won't be out for about three, four months, give or take a month. So I, I can't really speak to it. I've only seen a demo. But the demo performed much better than this. Um, again, I'm used to it, but there you go. That is what the Android lag looks like. So... Hopefully we get that fixed, either through Android, Direct Touch, or some other implementation, because I know some people stay away from Android because that experience just isn't for them.